and welcome to the children's message. We're so glad that you joined us. This is the second Sunday after Easter. And so before we get to our new story, let's remember what we had in our story last week. So in last week's story, all of the early Christians were getting together and joining churches. And they were taking care of each other and sharing everything that they had together. But not just for themselves, but also for the people in their community. Isn't that a wonderful example of what we can do for each other today? So let's see who's in our story this week. So we have Jesus and a couple of our disciples, and we're going to get some really important clues about Jesus today. So let's turn in our World Story Bible to Luke 24, 36b through 48, and it reads as follows. The disciples' eyes opened wide with surprise. Cleopas and his friends said they just saw Jesus alive. Could it be true? The disciples wondered. Suddenly, Jesus appeared. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples jumped in surprise, then ducked in fear. You can't be Jesus. Jesus died, explained Peter. It must be a ghost, shouted John. Don't be afraid, said Jesus calmly. Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me. Ghosts don't have skin and bones. Even though they could see his hands and his feet, Jesus saw that the disciples didn't believe. Do you have anything here to eat? Jesus asked. The disciples gave Jesus some broiled fish. They watched as Jesus ate it all. Everyone gasped. Ghosts don't have hands and feet but they could see Jesus' fingers and toes. Ghosts can't eat, but they saw Jesus eat the fish. One by one, the disciples believed. Jesus, you're alive, they cheered. Jesus smiled. I have died and have come back to life for you. Jesus told them, you are forgiven for your sins. You must share the good news with everyone. So let's see what happened in our story today. So the disciples were all together in a room, and then Jesus appeared, but they weren't quite sure it was him. And so they asked to see Jesus. They looked at his hands, where um, the holes were, and in his side, and he could tell that they still weren't quite sure that they believed. So he asked them for something to eat. And when he ate that, they could see that he was alive because only living people eat things and also that he had flesh and bones. So they realized that it was true. Jesus was alive. And that's such wonderful news for us today. Sometimes we might have doubts about Jesus, about his capacities to do things, but God wants us to know that we can see Jesus and Jesus always helps us to understand his abilities, and in this case, it was to die and come back to life. Amen. So before we end, let's put our hands together. Dear Jesus, we're so glad that you loved us so much to die for us and to come back to life. Please forgive us for when we doubt you and help us to always come to you when we have doubts so that we can share them with you and you can help us through any doubts that we have in our faith. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.